What's going on? Today we are going to be going over some steps you need to take to winterize your vehicle, whether it's your race car, an ATV, dirt bike, or anything else that you use in the summer that doesn't get used in the winter. With any of those vehicles, if you run water in the summer, you need to make sure that you switch the water out for antifreeze or you could run into some major issues with cracking the block and you don't want that, that gets really expensive. Now I already made the switch back to antifreeze in my race car, that's all taken care of. That's one thing checked off of winterizing your vehicle. Moving on to the next item of business, gasoline. Now if you have gas cans that still have gas in them, if it's just regular pump gas, you can use that in your daily driver, your regular vehicle, just so you can use it up. This gas can go bad in a matter of a couple of months. You don't wanna just leave this sit here, gas is expensive. Just use it up, get it out of the garage. If you have some other type of fuel that can't just be used in a daily driver, make sure you find out what the proper fuel stabilizer is that you can use with that to try and keep your fuel lasting longer so that it doesn't just go bad and you lose out on your gasoline or your other type of fuel. Now, if you're for sure not gonna be moving your vehicle for quite a long time, make sure you disconnect the battery or take it out, put it up on the shelf or hook it up to a trickle charger when need be to make sure that your battery doesn't go dead. If you have your vehicle in a garage, you're most likely not gonna run into issues with your battery freezing when it goes sub-zero temperatures. When I talk about just disconnecting your battery, just disconnect the positive terminal, loosen up that nut, take that off, tuck it off to the side, just to make sure it doesn't reconnect to your battery if there's a little tension on it. That should be good to go, and you don't have to worry about it the rest of the season. The next item of business is checking your tires, making sure they're not just sitting low. You don't wanna leave your tires sitting almost empty, especially if it's sitting on the ground. That puts a lot of stress on the sidewall of the tire. That's not good for it. It's probably not gonna last sitting all winter. So we're gonna check the tires. I know that I aired them down at the last event, and I probably didn't put air back in them. That goes for daily driving vehicles as well. As the temperature goes down outside, the tire pressure also drops with it. Much better. 30 PSI should last all winter and not drop to where it's a dangerous level for the tire. Now, if you're like me and you came home from your last drift event and you just kind of tossed everything into the garage and said, I'll take care of it later. Now is the time to take care of that. Make sure everything is put away. All the tools are where they need to be. So in the cold weather, if you need something in an emergency, you can find those tools to use them right away. Now I have a couple of transmissions that I have to take apart and put together and make one good transmission. I also have my old transmission sitting here. I need to get that to the back of the garage so that I can pick that up with my truck and take that to work and throw it in the scrap steel bin. I also have a stack of tires over here. I'm gonna just stack them up in the front. I do need to take some of those dead tires off and get those out of here as well. If you have used tires that need to be disposed of, do that properly. Take them somewhere so they can properly dispose of them. Don't just throw them in a regular garbage can. Now the last thing you should do before finalizing your winterized process, check all the fluids in the car, whether it's oil, clutch fluid, any other type of fluids that may be in the vehicle, make sure they're all topped off, ready to go, so that you don't come in the spring, try and start it, and something's low and it's not working properly. Take care of it. You're already doing all this other stuff, make sure it's all topped off. Now, before I end out today's video, I'm just gonna clean up the car, the exterior of the car real quick. There's a bunch of rubber dust all over on it. There's a bunch of scuffs and everything. Give it a wipe down, otherwise give your car a full wash or any other type of vehicle that you're putting into storage. Make sure it's nice and clean so you don't have to do it first thing in the spring. That'll do it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.